happening, folks? It might be from Fatman Vapes. Today we're going to be talking about how to rewrap your batteries. We're going to turn this into this. Woo! Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's get on with it. This is a Samsung 25R 18650 battery. As you can see, the standard wrap that's on here is a bit worse for wear. Um, and it's time to change it. The battery itself is still in alright condition. It still charges well. Holds our charge pretty well too. So normally I would say if the battery is starting to diminish, I would just dispose of that safely. But on this occasion, I'm going to rewrap them. So what I'm actually doing here, guys, is I'm actually taking this battery wrap off. Okay. Um, and the most effective way to take it off is just to rip it off. Um, the likelihood is, unless you're changing your battery wraps because of a style issue, the likelihood is it's already got a tear in it anyway. So you just take it from that tear and rip, basically. Rip right up to the top of the battery, or to the bottom, whatever you like, like this. And then it's just a case of pull, and it will burst the top, and it will just come off like so. Oh. This is your insulator guys, um, would recommend if you didn't get insulators with your new wraps to keep a hold of that, because you're going to need it. As it happens I got new insulators with my wraps. What we'll do now is we'll jump down and I'll actually go through step by step how to actually apply your new wrap and insulator. This is what we're left with after we've ripped off that old sleeve. Now, the first thing we want to do is put a new insulator on here. Okay, now, nine times out of ten, your new battery wraps will come with new insulators. But if it doesn't, you can, of course, reuse the ones out your old wrap. Okay, but where possible, I would always recommend using the new ones. So, we just take it off, all right, and we pull out the center for the positive connection. And we just apply it on. Now, it is, there is a little adhesive on here. Alright, but it will allow you to push it into place, just like so. Alright, make sure that obviously the positive connection is exposed, just like so. And then we take the battery wrap, we're going to use the coil master wraps today, and we just sit the battery inside the wrap, like so. Now, when we're inserting this, we want to make sure that we've got a lip at the bottom and a lip at the top. Okay, so somewhere like that. All right, enough for the battery to, enough for the wrap, sorry, to shrink round the battery. Okay. Now is bring in the hair dryer. Okay, so we're going to put the hair dryer on, and we're going to use the heat from the hair dryer to shrink the wrap round the battery. Okay. <laughs> When we're done, we should have a nice new wrap, nice, neat, tidy on our 18650 battery, and it's now ready to be used again safely. Okay, so, with further we look, we've seen how easy it is to turn this into this, or this, that's an OBD one. Um, fairly simplistic guys to do, it shouldn't really take you very long to do it and I would recommend that any time you get a tear in your battery wrap that you change them because the last thing you want is a short inside a mod 
your battery's starting to vent, not only will the battery be useless, but the mod might be useless and also it could catch fire. And we don't really want that happening now, do we guys? No, we don't. Um, we disclaimer guys, as I said, just make sure you buy, especially if you're changing the insulator, that you make sure that you get them from a reputable dealer. You don't want to be putting on a nonsense on your batteries. Battery safety guys is a biggie. You really, really need to take it seriously. Stop using the number of people I've met who have got rips in their battery wraps and they just don't seem to care is beyond a joke. You really need to keep on top of it, guys. And you don't need to be buying new batteries every six months. Just rewrap the fuckers. All right. So on that note, I'm going to go and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.